Since we've joined Juventus, we've had a very, very good start to our time in Italy. Bar a minor hiccup last episode where we had a uh, leaked little bit of knowledge coming out of the dressing room about us slagging off our manager, Massimo Allegri. That was that not very was nice. Just... As this new story says, Juventus are marching on towards the title. As well as this, our arch nemesis Erling Haaland has been ruled out for three months, so most likely again this season, we're going to score more goals than him. Obviously on FIFA, you can't check. So without further ado, we do get us underway very quickly with a 4-2 win against Shakhtar at home. Again, we didn't score. We'd have got an eight rating though, so we might have maybe assisted one or two, but it's the first of three and it's a very good start to this episode. Yet again, we get an important 2-1 victory, again at home, this time against Genoa. Obviously, they open the score in the 23rd minute. We actually do score for a change in the simulation and we get the second highest rating of the game behind Dennis Sakari, the former Chelsea man, with an 8.1. So to be fair, start of this episode with 2-8 plus rating, so I've done pretty well so far. And then yet again, again, it's, it's going to be coming into Ashland incident, this. We've been benched and come in the 55th minute for the Danish against the Polish. And it's just hard to get into the game. Like, I don't really want to play games where I'm not starting. But, I mean, I say that. We've got the French next, without a shadow of a doubt, will not be starting. I know that for an absolute fact. And, uh, I mean, it's a big game to make an impact on. But I just can't seem to please this manager at the moment. Ladies and gentlemen, it's match day. Guys, I'm not going to lie. It's made a weird change. We're actually starting this one. We've managed to work our way back into the team and we are up against the French with Kim Pembe and Canate as the back two. Right, we get the uh, kickoff. Obviously, it's a big game against the French, this. We, we, we've actually started a game, it's very rare. And uh, we need to actually do something decent in this game. Nice, lovely run off the back of his man. Who is it who's got there? Oh, brilliant link up play. Flick it on, go on for volley. Oh my God, we've worked that so well. We've literally started this game and inside 16 minutes, we're 1-0 up against the French. I don't know who scored that. What's the name on the back of the shirt? He's not quite turned enough yet. Um, I mean, we're celebrating with the fans anyway. We are 1-0 up against the French and it's great stuff. <coughs> Gwendozy in towards a man to shoot. Great save by Christensen to keep us ahead. Gwendozy with a chance to shoot. Good block. Canate. Kefrem Toram. Chance for the French again. What a save by the keeper. Keeper's in the game at the moment, which is his job. This might be ideal for the captain. Come on, make that run. Nice. Lovely little bit of skill there. Oh, come on, you've sold me short there, mate. Come on, play it. Oh, it's delayed the pass by about 15 working years. And that's the final highlight of the half. I literally passed it first time, EA. Yeah. But we still do lead the French one. And I probably should have shot, to be fair, in all hindsight. But still, we are ahead. Go got the ball though. Go on. We've got away from my man. Kimpembe blocks it. Good defending. Come on. Whip a good ball in. That is actually really nice. Cross. We get on the end of it. We've scored potentially, most likely, the final highlight of this game. 2 0 against the French. Brilliant ball in. Brilliant header. Another international goal for us. Thank you. Big oof. I'm gonna. Oh, that's a poor ball. That uh, we still win the game anyway. Two 0 victory against the French. I'm. I'm assuming that we got man of the match. But I mean, we did really, really well in that game. One point. Well, sorry, eight point six. One goal, one assist. That is fantastic. To be fair, and I think we might have a game to play. I think it's against Sassuolo next. So yeah, very good game against the French. Hopefully, when we're in the international manager's plans for the future now. We're not against the biggest opposition this one, but Sassuolo are always a difficult game for Juventus. Obviously, sharing rich history and loaning players with each other, so it should be a good game away at Forest Park Stadium. <laughs> that is not correct. Lopez. The Jallo. They're, they're pushing us here. Pull back. It's a chance. Great save by Chesney. Play it back. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, I've got lucky. I've got past, and it's a good save by the keeper. Poor finish, really. Right, we need a good whip. We do need a good whip. What is that, man? So poor, just before half time. And I'd imagine, yeah, that is the final highlight. We've barely had anything to do in this game. Trying to get involved, but the team are just really struggling to find us, and we're being really unlucky at the moment. Keep doing this. Go on, find me. Oh, it's such a poor ball. Can we find a man? Oh, shoot. Oh, what a save by the keeper. We're getting crowded out up there. Come on, that one. Lovely pass. Right, one-on-one. -on -one. This is where we like to be. One-on-one, -on -one, and what a challenge that is. Who is this defender? He's, he's pocketed me all game. Come on, win it. 
Win it. Oh, I can't get there. Go on. Chance to shoot. We've managed to score in the 83rd minute. Oh my God, that was so hard to score. I was concentrating so badly. We got really lucky with the deflection, but we deserve a 1-0 lead and that's what we've got. Well, we've, we've got a bit of space. Look for the ball, that's a really good ball. Duarte, that touch is so horrendous. I mean, he's been really poor this game. It is the final highlight, of course, but I can't believe how badly he's played. He just not managed to link up with me at all this game. And uh, hopefully they try Kyle George in the next game. I think we've got Freiburg away from home and uh, we'll see how we're doing that. Another good game, though, for us in the league. We got a little bit fortunate, though, in the end. Here we go. Away at home against Freiburg. Europa League, I think these are on one point, maybe maybe three, I don't know, but way at the top of the group. It's a fairly big game. Got to get close to them, lads. Like, it's not my job to defend, but I seem to be deep the most people. Good save by Shesley. We're playing woeful again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, knock it to Kyle George instead. I'm six foot five. That is literally my role in this team. Right, good ball. Chance to get around a man. Chance to shoot. And the keepers fell over. I'm not going to lie, but... We make it 1-0, we use one of our trademark celebrations. It's a little bit of a poor goalkeeping moment, but we do lead 1-0. And you know what? It's not deserved. We've been so poor in that attacking final third. Even us ourselves, we still do lead. We get the important early goal. I mean, I don't know what they're doing. They're just passing ball around between themselves. I'm not really involved in any moves. Feeling like I've, uh, I've been told off by a manager and the players just don't want to pass to him anymore. Easy win. Lovely. I just seem to be doing everything. I mean, they're just ignoring passing to me. Right, nice football. Nice football, find me. Through again. Come on, make it two. I've hit it, the keeper. Oh my God, what the hell is that? That's why we need weak foot. We've got four star weak foot though. Right. We've had a really good game again and the game's just not rewarded us for anything. So we have to keep calling for the ball. Just close him! He's running with the ball and he's watching him! Oh my God, I'm absolutely furious with these players. Right, nice. <laughs> Kyle George. <laughs> I, I've, I've lost my head. I've lost my head playing with these. They're just woeful. I don't know what's going on. Look at the state of the defending. This is Allegri at his absolute finest. Shesney's bailed us out yet again. Not surprised we've been booked for that. We're a bad challenge, but I'm really mad. He's getting killed! Oh, no, no, no! He's getting killed, he's getting They're just getting everything. It's such bad gameplay. We've got away with it this game, but I, I'm absolutely furious with the team. Or even what I'm meant to do. Every time I, I want the ball or I ask them to pass it to me, they just take 15 years to actually pass it. McKenny deservedly gets man of the match. He's the only player on the team who actually don't mind playing with these two in the middle. They can, for all I care, they can... I'm not going to say anything bad. For all I can care, they get injured for us at season. But Kyle George, woeful again. Like We've been shaved, saved by Chesney. The defence shambolic what is Allegri doing I mean they're, they're playing a 65 rated at left back and we didn't even exploit it whatsoever it's just it's it's embarrassing I mean this really does sum us up we've lost our final game of the episode this time against Bergamo Calcio we've lost 2-1 we did actually score in the 49th minute but our former player Dim Myrall and another player called Ivanisek scored as well I mean it's just wealth we get our man of the match we get 7.9 rating I mean this just sums up the state of how this club's run like Allegri was brilliant like 10 years ago, but now he's useless. He doesn't bring anything to the club. And it's frustrating to play in part of his system where it's just so defensive. I really couldn't leave it on that game, guys. I'm sorry, I know I said one more game, but we had to simulate this one against Sudanese. We did get the 3-1 win, which is very important. Makoku, I don't know why he's joined them, scored the opening goal. Chiesa, Duarte and ourselves scored yet again. I mean, we get man of the match at 8.7, but it's not the best performance in the world. If you see the stats, I mean, I'm, I'm covering them. Six shots, four chances. Like, we just did well to convert them, to be fair. That's not great against a very, like, low-rated Udinese team. So, I think some changes might need to come in the future. I mean, just look at the state of this starting team. I'll go for the back five first. So, if Chesley starts in goal, 33. Decent keeper, saves us quite a lot. The starting left-back is Luca Pellegrini. He was on loan last season for the majority. Daniel Reggiani is the captain, no longer Leonardo Bonucci, and he starts with Bremer and either Gatti or again Bonucci. So it looks like Bonucci has been stripped of the captaincy, to be fair. The right back is Tommaso Barbieri, who looks like a regen, but he's probably not. The midfield is most likely made up of Zakaria, Kostic, Chiesa, and Weston McKenney. But for all I know, Chiesa doesn't start many games because I never see him actually on the 
on the team. Like we've, we've got all these midfields. Pogba plays a lot. Pedri plays quite a bit, and Pogba's awful. Now we said the strikers are myself and Duarte, but I mean he's not been starting much recently. Like he's played 18 games this year. I've played 20. I've scored twice as many goals and got twice as many assists. He just started the season off better. He's been really poor recently. Think of players like Dejan Kulusevski who aren't even getting game time. It's just such a waste. And then there's no backup because he's on the Kyo George replacing us. I mean Allegri is. He's such a bottle merchant, it's it's frustrating being under him. Well guys, that is all we've got for today. I mean, as we can see, we are still top of the league. We've only lost one game, but we've not scored like a healthy amount of goals. We're very similar in terms of goal difference and goals scored to the rest of the league. Are you sure about that? I mean, I say, I say we've got a bad defence, we don't concede very often, but Serie A is a slower league. So it benefits, but when we get to the Champions League in later seasons, we're going to really struggle with this sort of team. And uh, I mean, as I say, Udinese are 18th and we only just beat them. So it's a little bit worrying if you ask me. We are indeed the top scorer though, with 13 and 15 in the league. Close followed by Dybala, Kavaric Kelly and Charles de Ketelaer. So uh, yeah, we're not running away with it at the moment, but we aren't really playing in a well-oiled Juventus machine and uh, we're also the top assist. So it sort of shows that like, a bit like Aston Villa similarly, that we're sort of carrying the load and it's very frustrating for me sometimes when I barely touch the ball, but I still manage to have a good game. Um, but the team are just not great. In Frampton, in the next episode, we start off the simulation against FC Midgetland to finish out the group. I mean, we're on 13 points. I think second place are on 10th. I mean, we've already done that. Quite, because we've got two played games against Roma at home and then AC Milan. We've got simulations to follow against Empoli and Sampdoria. Potentially a played game uh, against Fiorentina and then I'm probably going to finish off with Verona, but I could also play the game against Napoli as well. But yeah, that's all we've got for today, guys. Thank you for watching again. Please like and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the Verona channel very, very soon. Thank you very much again and uh, cheers.